Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading and uh, this is a general love reading. It may or may not resonate with all of you. First I will shuffle the deck four times for you. So let's see, first I will start with what happened in the past, what were the problems. So you better know if this is your reading, if this reading resonates with you. So let's see what happened in the past. Okay, a connection that was not balanced, a connection that was not fair, a one-sided connection. And the friendship was not also very strong. A connection that was one-sided and a connection that lacked respect and also with not a strong with not a strong friendship. Now let's see about your current energies. <clears throat> what are your current energies? You think you may know the truth now. And the truth is that the chapter is closed. That cycle is over. That's why you don't want to initiate any conversation with them. Let's see what may be affecting you in your subconscious. The fact that maybe there was a communication in the past, a rapid, unexpected communication with them. Or the second story I'm getting is the fact that you still may want to hear from them, despite you knowing that the chapter is closed, the cycle is over, that's why you don't want to talk. You still may expect or desire to hear from them as soon as possible. For some of you it was a long-distance relationship as well. Maybe it was a long-distance relationship. So take what resonates. Now, let's see how do you view the situation and about your focus and hopes. You are finding it difficult to move away from this past connection. Sometimes you want to get back to them, at least with your memories. Uh, maybe there's something that triggers the memories and you keep thinking about the past. And you have a, a feeling that they may return one day. Now, you, your focus is to build something serious from that connection. You want stability, you want something stable, you don't want anything casual there if there was a chance for a reconnection or for a discussion about the next step of that relationship. But you want to avoid at the same time an immature person. Love uh, an immature person that does not take charge of the situation, is not focused and does not... Uh, take responsibilities about their behaviors or actions. So you were you want a more you want a more mature person in love. You want a more mature person in love. Now let's see what is the overall energy for the third week of April for Cancer. Trying to move away from this past connection. <clears throat> You are trying so hard to move away from them, even though you are finding it very difficult. And you think that that connection was not worth it. And it is not worth revisiting it again. That's your feeling. Now let's see about them. What are their energies, their current energies towards you? They kind of have lost hope that the connection will work out and be successful again. That's why they are trying to remain single from you and instead focus on themselves and possibly uh, on their work as well. This person may live in a distance away from you or uh, quite feeling distant emotionally with you now. That's why they want to remain single. Now let's see about will they take any actions? Will they change their mind? And this is for the third week of April. They have a, a desire to 
make peace with you, to reconcile, but they don't have much courage to approach you. They feel uh, guarded. They see you guarded as well. And they don't trust that connection as much as before. But they desire a reconciliation there. For now, they want to remain single. I will continue this reading in the extended. I see them feeling distant emotionally. But do they have feelings there? Any feelings left for that past connection? Also, how do they view you? What are their intentions? And also, uh, the energies around you, them and the connection. If you want to watch the extended of this video, you can find it now in the description box below. See you the next reading and bye for now.